Hi everyone and welcome to our video on converting radians to degrees. Okay, so in this we've got the radian measure of 4 pi thirds for number 1 and the number 2 is negative 3 pi 8. So we'll also show it in our calculator. Okay, so 4 pi thirds, so this is in radians currently, we have our formula whatever a degree measure is over 180 degrees should equal whatever radian measure over pi. And so this time around we have our radian measure. So the degree we don't know, we'll use our generic symbol theta for, ang for an angle. So we have theta over 180 equals our radian measure. Okay, so that is the four pi thirds going in. So you get this nasty looking fraction like that. However, every time that you have pi involved in the numerator of your given angle, what's going to happen is that the pi here and the pi there will cancel out every time. Okay, so they always just cancel. Pi's cancel. Pi's cancel. And so that would make that just four-thirds on the right. So it always looks nastier than it really is. So we have theta over 180 equals just four-thirds. That's it. Okay, so that, that's how it always works when you have pi like that in the numerator up there. Okay, and then so now all we want is theta by itself. Four-thirds is fully reduced. Well, that just means all you have to do is multiply both sides by 180. Like that. Okay, so the 180s would cancel on the left. And then often... So you could do 4 times 180 and then simplify. However, often these can divide first. So notice 3 goes into 180 60 times. And 3 goes into 3 once. So that way, in my numerator, I have 4 times 60, which is just 240. And then I have a 1 in a denominator. I don't really need to show a 1 in a denominator. So that means this is 240, and it would be in degrees. That's our conversion, so we'll put our degree symbol there. Okay, so our theta is 240 degrees. Okay, so this one doesn't really need to be rounded. What we will do is show, well, let's show the sketch first. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that over here. So we've got our axes. So remember that 0 degrees is to the uh, positive x-axis, and then... 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then one full revolution is 360 degrees. Well, 240, let's mark that one in blue, 240 degrees, that's easy to measure. That is our initial side always to the positive x-axis. 240 would be downward like that in the third quadrant because one hundred because 240 is between 180 and 270 so there we go okay and then the four pi thirds so let's show that in red so our angle of four pi thirds remember that's that's just showing it on the actual circle so we have what's called the unit circle that we can sketch on top of our axis and then it's that same length or not same length, it's, it puts us at the same terminal point. It's just around the circle like that. Okay, so same deal. Okay, so there's the 4 pi third. So it puts us at the same spot. So again, radians and degrees are just different ways to show the same angle. Okay, so we'll, we'll see them both. All right, anyway, so I do want to just show a conversion. So I don't need, I, the 240 degrees didn't need to be rounded. 240 degrees is good. Okay, however, I do want to just show 4 pi thirds just in case. Okay, so the previous problem too, so if you're going in order and if you watch this previous video, it did say to approximate it, um, but I did not because I didn't have a calculator ready. Here I can. I just want to show 4 pi thirds. Just make sure you've got it. So I just use Desmos. Okay, if you have a handheld calculator, the pi button's somewhere on there, and you just type it in exactly as it's shown, 4 pi. Okay, so there we go. 4 pi divided by 3 is 4.19. Okay, so that would be our decimal. Okay, so if we did need to round it, that's how we could. Okay, so it's just type it in exactly as you see it. Okay, and I'm not even going to actually write it on the paper. I'm just going to say there it was. 
Okay, and then let's get this other one. Okay, so one other example. So, and again, you, you, you could pause and uh, try it on your own and then fast forward to see if you got it. But I'm just gonna break it down using the same degree over 180 must equal some radian over pi. Notice I write that down every time. I don't just plug things in right away. I set it up first and then I'll plug things in. Okay, so our degree O over 180. So we've got degree, that's our symbol that we'll use in this problem, theta, because that's what we're trying to find, equals the radian, negative three pi over eight, and then divided by pi. Okay, so the whole radian I put in parentheses, just like that. And then just like the last problem, those pi's are just gonna cancel again. So you could do this a longer way if you want. It would, it would cancel out no matter what. I'm just doing the shortcut saying, yeah, those will definitely cancel every time. And then what we've got is our theta over 180 equals negative three eighths. And so we want theta by itself. So we'll multiply both sides by 180. There we go. And then so the 180s on the left cancel. And we're left with theta equals, again, over on the right, you can do a little bit of simplifying. So 180 and, or 180 and eights are each divisible by two. So that would become four and that would become 90. Well, 90 and four are each divisible by two. So that would become two and that would become 45. So now what we need to do is just multiply the negative three and 45. So we'll multiply those. So it becomes a little easier with the multiplication when you do some reducing first. So that is negative 135. And then two is just left alone in the bottom. So as a fraction, it's that. Here's where it looks like we should probably do the rounding to two decimals. Okay, so negative 135 divided by two Okay, negative 135 divided by two is negative 67.5. Okay, so let me actually put it right here. Negative 67.5 degrees. That's a five. Okay, so that's the same angle just measured in degrees. And just one more time, I'm gonna quickly sketch it. Okay, so the 67.5 currently is probably easier to sketch the negative 67.5. So if there's zero degrees, for my initial side, negative 67.5 puts us maybe somewhere about there. There we are. And then again, just to show it with the actual unit circle drawn around, it would mean just follow that same initial side and terminal side and it puts us right there. Okay, so that's where negative three pi eights puts us. Again, it's the same initial and terminal side for our angle. Okay, so that's it. All right, so that's how we can convert radians to degrees. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you do have questions, please let me know.